first we will find the jugular notch you can see this is the jugular notch now when we slide down we get a bony prominence it's also called as angular lewis and the rib attached to it is the second rib below that we get the second intercostal space then going further we get the third intercostal space after that we've got the fourth intercostal space this position is very important as in the right side we place the v1 and in the left side we place the v2 lead in real situations we need to inspect the limbs carefully whether there is injury or something uh, pricked or anything else we need to carefully inspect the limbs after careful inspection we can then start applying the jellies on the limbs we need to make sure to use an ecg conductive gel uh, so it's a very high viscosity material so we need to apply apply little pressure on this so carefully applying on all the limbs as we have applied the jellies on the limbs now we will start placing the electrodes so now we will start placing the electrodes clamp electrodes we can see this electrode so this electrode has one metal shiny end so which is the conductive end and other is for the support you can see one metal end and another is for support we will just apply it carefully on the part where we have applied the jelly similarly we will be applying on the left leg you can see this in the wire there will be marking as f this clamp is also structurally the same and has one part as conductive and second as supportive the clamp has to be applied carefully on the gel portion where we have attached the gel we have put the gel over this we need to place the clamps after this we need to apply the clamps on the arms so first we are going towards right arm you can see in the cable it is mentioned r and there is a metal conductive plate so we need to just place it above the gel the gel makes the signal conduction quicker from the body to the electrode similarly now we move to left arm in left arm you can see the cable has l marking so here we attach this electrode which is in clamp shape same on the jelly part we apply the clamp so right left then left leg then right leg so we have applied all the clamps now we will attach the chest electrodes these are from v1 to v6 or you can say c1 to c6 first we need to identify where is the in second intercostal space jugular notch angle of lewis then second intercostal space this marking from mid clavicular line to downwards towards the fifth intercostal space we will be placing the v4 here we will be placing the v4 intersection between the fifth intercostal space and mid clavicular line after having the idea of mid clavicular line we will be start putting jellies now from v1 to v6 we will start applying the suction electrodes then we start attaching the leads from v1 to v6 so we first place v1 then v2 then v4 then we will place the v3 lead this one after that we will go to axillary line and mid axillary line this with the inter intersection with the fifth intercostal space and in the same line as v4 we will be placing the v5 and v6 after attaching all the leads v1 to v6 and the clamp electrodes limb leads we just carefully inspect that everything is in place and all the electrodes are attached properly now we will see all the waveforms which are coming from the ecg cable to the ecg machine we will carefully inspect if all waveforms are correctly coming on the screen and if there is any waveform missing we will just adjust the electrode if the all waves are coming in proper fashion in proper way we will give the print command on the ecg machine after pressing the print option the ecg printout will come out so we get this ecg graph please do like and subscribe the channel